Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hey, Crafty Family. It's me. And today, we are going to make some pretty things. So, here I have some postcard size pieces of glossy cardstock. It is not photo paper, it is glossy cardstock. However, some photo papers you can use the reverse side of, but photo paper has a coating on it that when you put like things, we're gonna use alcohol inks. When you put alcohol inks on the, on the photo paper itself, that coating kind of gums up and gets all nasty. So you want a glossy cardstock or Yupo paper or the reverse side of photo paper usually will have a surface similar to like a Yupo paper. So you can use that. So what we're going to do is make some flowers. And a lot of people do this using a straw. And I can show you that. But I, I've got some duster. I had Chris get me some duster from his work. And, and if you push it real slowly, you get a fine um, stream of air. And if you blast it, you can see like it makes dents in the fat of my hands. So you want to be careful how you do it because otherwise you can have a complete mess. If you're using a straw, and what we're going to do is make flowers. If you're just using a straw, um, What was I going to do? Oh, I'm going to put, um, I don't want to do this. I'm going to take some blending solution and I'm going to do it this way. Now I've done it where you just put the alcohol ink down and just go. Um, but I'm going to try something and I can't seem to get this bottle open. Hmm. This is a little blending solution. You can use alcohol, but I don't have a bottle of alcohol handy. So I'm going to make like a little puddle of this blending solution just to kind of make my flower be a little more kind of wispy and you take your straw and you blow and if it goes off your page that's fine too see I like Kind of like how that looks because that gives me like a cool kind of thing with the look now on top of it i'll just add and now see now this is where i'm deciding the shape of my flower so because of the way this kind of spread i'm going to take the stem and put the stem up this way and make this the bottom of the flower and have the flower kind of being leaning over so what i'm going to do now is make the bottom of the flower which i've determined is right here And make that kind of more add a little darkness to it okay so as far as that's concerned i like that so i'm going to let that dry as i do another flower we'll add the stems later this time i'm going to use my air my can of air so i'm going to start a little lower down so i'm not so high up but i'm going to make like a, let's do a yellow and an orange flower and i'm going to do it just the way i did before by add, adding a little blending solution to kind of let it wisp out. I'm just kind of putting it on there and I'm going to add some, ooh, well that was a mess. Okay, because this has like crap. So let me just break up the, or get the little black specks out of there. <laughs> now I'm going to slowly control the air a bit and kind of mix it around but mix it out. So this might be more of a hot mess or one, either one big flower or a couple of flowers next to each other. We can salvage it. It's an interesting hot mess. I think I put too much on too much blending solution. I think was the problem. 
And this is like an orangey color, so we're going to take this. And that's going to be like that. And so that will be the bottom of the flower, and that's the flowers just kind of, you know, abstract. So totally fine. Do it however you want to do it. Um, let's see. Let's do a teal flower. I do like adding the blending solution, but I'm going to try not to add so much this time. Just add a dot, like a little puddle in the middle, and add in my alcohol inks. And I added a little bit of this color as well. They're both similar, I guess. It's hard to get this. To... Oh! <laughs> well, it doesn't matter really, as long as I can make some sort of a. Make some sort of flower out of it. Now, what I can do is take a little baby wipe. This one's kind of dry with some alcohol on it. And if I want to, I can kind of lighten if it'll let me. I'm not sure it will. But I can like lighten that a little bit. If, like, let's, well, maybe not. I could on UPO paper again. I guess I can on this, which is fine. So now I'm going to take a little bit of the blending solution again. I'm going to put a couple of drops of that. I'm going to put a couple of drops of the purple. And I'm just going to go in and make a Frankenflower, is what we'll call it. these really cool looking interesting and plus this helps your alcohol ain't dry quicker and if you're you know if you want you can like spray some alcohol on it and do like and then dry it even more and like you'll get like spots if you notice from if you have a fine mist bottle see all the cool like spots I got on that one I like that that's cool so let's try to make two smaller flowers on this one. And we'll do one in this like raisin color. I'm just going to put a small dot of blending solution and one dot of that. And I will start with that and whoa. <laughs> Well, that was interesting. Some of the stuff came out of the can and it like, psh, that's okay. It don't matter. So we're going to do a small flower there. One dot of that. And let's do one dot of the pink. Two dots of pink. And so if you do it small, you can control it a little better. Maybe we can get a third flower too. And we'll do like one dot, one dot, and one dot of this color. And we got some cool what we'll make into flowers there. So I think we did pretty good. Obviously, you can make yours however you want. I think the more funky they look, the more like the more that they don't look like flowers, they end up looking cooler. I don't know. That's just what I think. I've never done this with the spray can of air before. I've always just done it with a straw, but because of you know not feeling like dealing with the you know, not feeling like blowing the whole time. So we've got four different flowers and you can keep going back and adding layers to these, which is the cool thing. So if you wanted to add like a turquoise layer to this or 
little layers on each of these, excuse me, you can, you know, you, you want it, you can adjust them by adding, spraying some alcohol and doing some fun things that way. Um, and then these are from when we were painting flowers with alcohol ink. I have these little palettes and I've got green, three different greens. And I'm, I am going to paint the stems on because I will say that when it comes to, um, blowing the flowers that works all fine and good but blowing the stem never works i've never gotten that to work so it's best if you you know use some i can't find my other green use some uh, alcohol and i'm going to put a little I have a little bowl of alcohol i'm going to put a little bowl of alcohol here and you want to use like a higher uh, value of alcohol, not like the 71%. It's just better if you use a higher value. But I'm going to just paint on, just like you would with any paint, like a base that kind of kind of looks like it does something. <laughs> I'm just going to And then I'm going to make like a stem that just comes down. And I'll let that dry a minute. Now this one is the one that I said was going to go like that. So again, I'm going to put like a little base on it. Maybe this base will just be a thicker kind of rounder base. I do need some more green. What do I do with the green? There it is. I found it. Some green, a little more alcohol on my brush. Not much. You don't want to water it down with alcohol too, too much because uh, if you add too much alcohol, watering it down, it'll, um, it'll do more spreading than it will kind of painting. And it's amazing, you know, how they start to look like flowers as soon as you start adding stems and stuff like that. And on top of it, you can doodle on top of them, which we're going to do that as well. And when you doodle on top of them, you really start getting like, you know, flower shapes. Let me see if I have a different green. Just I don't want to use. Here we go. Here's another green. Just because I want to have more than one green to go back and like. And what's cool is even if this dries up in your palette, I've said this before, you can always go back and add a little alcohol and revigorate it. So, you know, don't feel like, you know, don't feel like you. Um, don't wait, feel like you're wasting it or anything. So these are going to be like little pods, kind of. This one, I'm going to make it go over here just because I just want to, I guess. And then this one, I'm going to have it go here. And it's nice because if you add this little nub at the bottom of whatever it is, it ends up making it look like a flower. I don't know how. It's it's like magic somehow. Now what's cool is if you take, well, let me do this one first. I'll show you. This one's going to have a short stem on it, but it'll, because it's so big and it's taking up so much of the space, but it'll still look like a flower. We'll make this go all the way like it's just a monster flower. I need to add a little bit more of a sweep. Now, what's cool is um, if you take a different color green right 
and you go in and you kind of maybe add a little alcohol and mix it in it makes it look cool and you can kind of just like dot it on if you like make little dots with it and kind of kind of like you're putting a highlight or a low light on your stem it kind of does something sometimes if, you, if it looks too streaky take a little bit of alcohol and just go in and like if it looks too line too many lines or something take a little alcohol dab off some of it on a towel a little bit and just use that to blend with some but You can get a cool, you can get like a painterly kind of look without being a painter because that's not something I am. Definitely not a painter. But you can kind of fake it with alcohol ink where you couldn't really do that with acrylic paint. Like I can't get away with some of this stuff with acrylic, but for some reason with alcohol ink I can. But even if I make a mistake, it still doesn't look so bad. Okay, so let's just add a little bit more to this. Put that aside. I'm going to work on this one, which we need a little more alcohol for. Just kind of fake it. That's what I say. Just fake it and pretend you can kind of paint. Like here, I'm picking up a little bit of the orange and pulling that down too. And that looks cool. Okay. In fact, I'll take some of the orange out of that part of the tin and just add it in because why not? Because stems don't have to be all green, right? You know. I think it looks nice with a little bit of that like yellow orange color in there. Maybe even a little red. You can just add all kinds of colors. Why not? Just add different colors in it. It'll make it look more real, believe it or not. If you just put green, 
it's not going to give it a very realistic look but if you like stick a little red little orange or a little or even a little blue or something it just for some reason does something don't know exactly but i promise if you try it it works okay I'm good with that so like this I can use again so that's why I don't you know get rid of it so now I'm gonna take a little alcohol on the leg and clean that up because I'm not gonna be using that again so I'm gonna hit these with the heat gun just to make damn sure they're dry because um, then we're gonna add some doodling see how they kind of look like flowers now they they have like because all you have to do is add a funky stem and it really gives it a flowery look and even though you know we didn't do anything Now you can leave these just the way they are. Um, like these three especially have enough character in them where they could go without any doodling, whereas these might need a little extra help. So I'm gonna grab a couple of doodly marker type things, pens, I guess. A couple of pens, let's see. Um, Throw on my glasses and maybe I'll zoom you in a little bit so you can see kind of what I'm doing. Um, there we go. Okay. So if I'm going to doodle, I'm going to start by outlining my stem a bit and just kind of be doodly about it. I'm not really trying to be precise or perfect or anything, but I'm just going to add a little sketchy outline of my stem because that's the easiest thing to doodle. <laughs> Or outline, I should say. And now, tons of people have done these flowers. Um, and honestly, I don't remember the first person that I've seen this from because there's been so many people that have done this. Um, but if I end up remembering as I post the video, anybody, I'll put a link in the description. But offhand, I, I honestly can't remember who I've seen this from. So now um, I'm not good at doodling. So I'm just going to trace around and make these my funky. Which I probably should have used a thinner liner for this. Not such a thin. And you don't have to be perfect. I'm just going to go around and not worry about every little crazy detail. I have a thinner one, thinner point. If you get white showing, it's fine. It'll give it more of a doodly look. And this one. And now you would put some like doodle kind of lines in it. So for instance, maybe I would do something like that. 
and something like that. And then make like some lines going like that. And I'm just doodling inside of my flowers. Now you can make a more standard flower like if you want to, where you make them really like, you know, look like flowers, but I'm not good at drawing, so I'm just putting some lines in it just to make them look cool. I don't know. I'm not I'm not a good doodler and I'm not a good drawer, so there are so many other people that do better things with their flowers than I do. I just kind of put, I don't know, I just do whatever. Like this one's got this circle here. So maybe I'll do that and then like doodle around it and just kind of make a spiral out of it. Why not put some more dots? So don't go by my doodles because they're horrible. Just not a, not a doodler. But just for example, you can do kind of funky things with it and just kind of I'm just doing funky doodles. That's all. Just funky doodles like that. Or you can leave them like these. I'll probably leave alone because I like the way they look. And I don't want to doodle them. So that's like just options you can do. Or you can kind of make them doodle them. But make them look more like conventional flowers. But I really didn't feel like doing that. So so there you go. Very easy project you can do. You could do this on ATCs as long as you keep them really small. Which I'm not good at. So that's why I wanted to do postcard size. Which is nice. And then you can back them on a piece of cardstock. So that they're less flimsy. And then sign the back, send them to somebody. Um, you can ink the edges as well. Um, let's see, like for this purple one, maybe I'll just do a little inking, light inking around the edges. Just to give it a little something. You can add a sentiment. So that one's lightly inked around the edges. And then I have, let's see, what color? Whoa, that color that jumped out at me. <laughs> Might be good for this one. And then again, how many times am I gonna drop that? Good Lord, fumble fingers today. There's that. And then let's see, I have this color here, which would be good for this one. Ugh. I swear to God, I'm having a bad day when it comes to holding on to things. Let's see if I can get that mark off. I doubt it though. Because I got a nice mark on that. Yeah, I got it off good. Um, and then this one, I can do the purple again, maybe like this color, it's like a purpley, 
raisin color, a little darker. And, and anybody would be happy to get your little alcohol ink flowers. They're adorable. So I hope you'll give this a try because it's super easy. And if I'm seriously having a hard time over here. I'm like spilling alcohol all over my desk. Woo! I need to end this video. Good Lord. End this video and go to bed. Um, and I'm zoomed way out. So you can't see what I'm doing. But anyway, ink the edges. You can back them on some cardstock so they're a little sturdier. And you can just send these right in the mail just the way they are. Or put them in an envelope, which is probably what I'll do. But I think they come out pretty cool, and I hope you'll give them a try. And just look up, I mean, honestly, there's so many people that have done this. Just look up alcohol ink flowers, and you'll find tons. Because they're all over the internet, all over YouTube. Alcohol ink flowers. And you'll find tons of other people that are much better at this than I am. Especially the doodling part. So, I would give it a try. And look it up and give it a try if you have a straw it works perfectly fine if you have some of this canned air that might save your lungs if you you know if you're not somebody who has strong lungs i have strong lungs it's just i don't feel like sitting here getting lightheaded because sometimes if you do it a lot you can get lightheaded <laughs> some people like that rush but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video please if you did give it a thumbs up and share it on your social media i would appreciate it and if you did take part in making some of these share them in our facebook group the link of that is in the description below along with tons of other links that you should check out but our facebook group is really awesome it's the pink poodle pack creative crafty playground we have a lot of people and there's a ton of people in there that are like-minded a lot of beginner mixed media and beginner crafters we take any kind of crafters whether you crochet or knit or sew or do needle felting or mixed media or cards anything you could think of is an art in our group and we are all welcoming and um, very nice people so the link is below check us out you might meet some really good friends and yeah i would love to see also share your art and share your flowers i would love to see it so have a great rest of your day make sure you do what you love and love what you do and be nice to people and i will talk to you later bye